Devin Haney accused Gervonta Davis of avoiding a bout with him. Recently, Gervonta expressed willingness to fight, but with a condition. Haney called out Gervonta for dodging the fight and belittling other fighters. He mentioned that if Gervonta genuinely desired the fight, he would focus on promoting it instead of tearing it down. Meanwhile, Devin's father, Bill Haney, highlighted that instead of undermining the fight by claiming it only sells due to certain reasons, Gervonta should acknowledge it as a significant event for boxing. Bill reiterated that despite all the talk, the crucial point remains. Let's settle this inside the ring on a major fight card. He supported Devin and echoed similar sentiments about Gervonta. Bill emphasized that nobody has surpassed Devin in terms of Gervonta's potential opponents. He pointed out that it's unnecessary to degrade other fighters to showcase one's worth. Bill accused Gervonta and his team of consistently misleading fans. He urged fans not to let Gervonta's camp convince them that insignificant fights are essential for the sport. Bill highlighted that Devin epitomizes the true essence of the culture and represents boxing in its purest form. Later, Bill expressed frustration at Gervonta's continuous disparagement of Devin and his team. He stressed that Gervonta avoids mentioning Devin's name because they don't have a fight scheduled, insinuating Gervonta's reluctance to face Devin. Bill addressed Calvin Ford, advising him to stop the charade and face the reality of the situation. He said, Calvin, step away from Twitter and put an end to this behavior. If you claim to be the face of boxing, then make a respectful move, send an offer, or something substantial. Every fighter Devin faces gets paid the most. Stop with this unprofessional conduct. On the flip side, Devin Haney appeared open to the idea of a potential fight with Ryan Garcia in a colossal matchup. Devin mentioned that it's a possibility he's been pursuing for years. He acknowledged it's good to see Ryan finally expressing interest in the fight, even though it came after a setback. Devin believes it was inevitable, but now that Ryan is willing to call him out, it remains a significant bout. Devin reiterated his desire to make the best and most significant fights happen. Interestingly, Devin mentioned encountering Ryan before starting his training camp at a store, where Ryan didn't bring up the topic of fighting at all, despite the opportunity. Jake Paul and Devin had a conversation regarding Jake's past bout with Ryan Garcia during their amateur days. Jake asked Devin if things would play out differently now. Many people are unaware, but Devin did defeat Ryan Garcia in the amateurs. Devin expressed that although Ryan may have improved since then, he doesn't believe the improvement is substantial. He doesn't foresee the outcome being any different from their competitive amateur encounters. While they used to have closely contested matches in the amateur circuit, Devin doesn't believe it would be a close fight now. Devin Haney's priority is pursuing the best fights in boxing, provided they come with the appropriate compensation. He emphasized his commitment to making the most significant and highest quality fights happen, even hinting at fighting the WBO light welterweight champion. Teofimo Lopez believes that a fight with Devin Haney would be a logical next step. Haney reiterated his desire for significant fights with the highest financial rewards. He expressed disappointment in Gervonta's reluctance to engage in the fight, suggesting that if Gervonta genuinely wanted it, he would promote it rather than undermine its significance. Haney emphasized that a bout with Gervonta could be monumental for boxing. Teofimo Lopez perceives flaws in Haney's style, noting around five or six weaknesses and similarly identified shortcomings in other fighters' approaches, three or four for Gervonta and approximately ten for Ryan. Lopez believes he can exploit these weaknesses when the opportunity arises. He highlighted Haney's tendency to raise his chin while punching, indicating an opening for counterattacks. According to Zab Judah, caution is advised for fighters considering facing Devin Haney, hinting at the challenges and risks involved in stepping into the ring against him. After witnessing Devin Haney's recent performance against Regis Prograis, Zab commented on Haney's dominance in moving up to 140 pounds, expressing doubts that many fighters would eagerly seek to face Devin at the moment. Zab speculated that not many opponents would be enthusiastic about challenging Devin, and whoever does step into the ring would witness Haney's absolute control and dominance. Following his fight with Regis Progre, Devin expressed his belief that he should be considered for Fighter of the Year. 
Additionally, he advocated for his father to receive recognition as Trainer of the Year. Devin voiced his confidence, stating that he feels deserving of the Fighter of the Year title at this stage. He also emphasized the lack of acknowledgement for his father's coaching prowess in the boxing world, despite believing his father to be one of the best trainers. According to Devin, his father's expertise was evident in his recent performance. He said, We stepped up in weight, faced arguably the best at 140, and delivered a flawless performance without taking any hits. It's evident that my dad deserves the Trainer of the Year accolade, and I believe I've earned the title of Fighter of the Year. Meanwhile, Gervonta Davis has been entangled in his own issues with other fighters calling him out. Isaac Cruz, seeking a rematch with Gervonta, expressed his determination to represent Mexico and prove himself against the best. Cruz emphasized the importance of working intelligently and diligently in training, highlighting that success isn't solely about power, but also about precision and strategic punching. Cruz said that the essence lies in dedication, hard work, and discipline, although it might seem like a cliché. Choosing the path of an ordinary fighter is the easy way out. Resisting temptations like declining a drink or foregoing time with friends is tough. As per Cruz, our journey is beautiful but arduous. To become an elite athlete, one must embrace sacrifice. I aim for both American and Mexican fans to recognize me, necessitating facing the very best. A rematch with Gervonta Davis is my priority, followed by bouts against Devin Haney and Vasily Lomachenko. However, Gervonta seems uninterested in a rematch against Isaac Cruz, claiming victory despite challenges. Coach Kenny Ellis has advocated for Devin Haney to face other fighters like Jerome Enos, causing dissatisfaction among Devin's camp. Bill expressed displeasure regarding the misdirection in Tank Davis's coach Kenny Ellis's post, which he came across upon waking up. He prefers Devin Haney to face Boots Ennis instead of Gervonta Davis. This suggests that Devin might have to consider a different opponent. According to Michael Benson, the WBC is likely to order Devin Haney to defend his WBC super lightweight world title against Sandor Martin next. Initially, Regis Progray versus Martin was mandated, but the WBC allowed an exception for the Progray's Haney bout with the condition that the winner face Martin afterward. Meanwhile, Gervonta Davis has a list of potential opponents, including several heavy hitters. When asked about specific names, Gervonta expressed interest in facing Haney, Lomachenko, and Teofimo, but not as much enthusiasm for Teofimo. He indicated Shakur Stevenson as another potential opponent. According to reports from Boxing Kingdom, Gervonta Davis seems to have agreed to fight Devin Haney in the upcoming year. They tweeted that Gervonta has informed the media of his willingness to face Devin Haney in 2024. In essence, the saga between Devin Haney and Gervonta Davis has unfolded with a mix of callouts, accusations, and conditions. Haney and his father, Bill, have consistently emphasized the importance of settling their differences inside the ring, advocating for respect and acknowledgement of the significance of the proposed bout. Bill Haney's frustration with what he perceives as Gervonta's camp misleading fans and avoiding the fight has been palpable. Devin Haney, displaying a keen interest in making significant fights happen, has explored potential matchups with Ryan Garcia and expressed a desire to face the WBO light welterweight champion. Teofimo Lopez, viewing a bout with Haney as a logical next step, has identified perceived weaknesses in Haney's style, signaling a potential future showdown. On Gervonta Davis's side, there's a complex landscape of potential opponents, with Isaac Cruz seeking a rematch and Gervonta expressing interest in facing Haney, Lomachenko, Teofimo, and Shakur Stevenson. The recent reports of Gervonta's willingness to fight Devin Haney in 2024 add an intriguing twist to the narrative. The intricacies of matchmaking, personal rivalries, and the pursuit of recognition in the boxing world continue to shape the narratives of these fighters. As fans eagerly await the resolution of these storylines, the overarching theme remains the same. The call for respect, recognition, and the settling of differences in the ring, where true merit is proven. The landscape of professional boxing is ever-evolving, and only time will reveal the outcomes of these anticipated matchups.
So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.